So we'll start with the GOAT debate, obviously Messi and Ronaldo. Who are you Ooh. picking out of these two? Ooh. Ronaldo's dropped off a little By bit. By the way, as well. Ronaldo's points are way lower than Messi's. I know. Wow. Is it the league? Is it <laughs> Wow, I'd love to know. That's a lot big difference. That's a bigger difference than I think it should be. I've got to mm. be honest with you. So you're picking? On them steps, you've got to go with Messi. Yeah, if I'm Messi. picking my team on, on, on the game, I'm going with Messi. And real life, obviously, into Miami, hit the ground running there as well. Yeah, he's doing really well. Mm. He's, he's, he's flying. He's flying. As well. Can't oh. go against Cristiano, though. He's your mate, isn't he, as well? In one game. If I'm getting for one game in cup final, I'm yeah. going to go Cristiano. He's your one, he's your go. Bappe or Haaland, who are we picking here? Ooh. That's a You might uh, split some opinion here. Harlan done crazy numbers last year, but if I'm, if I'm, uh, it, I think I think when their careers are over, I think Harlan will be the more devastating goal scorer. Really? But I think Mbappe will be the all-round better player. Kane or Salah, obviously. Ooh. Kane at Bayern Munich now started quite well. Salah, you know. Different just... players though, man. They're mm. different. Similar rating, man. <laughs> Similar rating, but they're very different players. Mm. I love them both in my team. If I'm yes. honest, I love them both. Imagine 30, 30 something goals each. Salah's Salah would be my my. The one I would wouldn't want to play against more. Mm. And Kane obviously could have been at Manchester United this yeah. season, maybe. What do you make of that? Yeah, gutted. Bruno Fernandez or Ooh. Bernardo Silva, countryman. Ooh. Ooh. Similar rating. So again, very different players. One of them's a creator and takes huge risk and chances, which is Bruno Fernandez, and the other one is the conductor, who's the artist, mm. can play multiple positions. I love watching Bernardo Silva, mm. but I've got to go with my club, my club man, boy. Bruno. And the captain as well. Yeah. Right person to be the captain as well, following Harry Maguire? Yeah, yeah, I do. I think, he, I think he'll go into the role. I think he, 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 he wants it. That's the most important thing. He wants the responsibility. Right, you might upset a few fans here. Bellingham or Declan Rice? Oh. Obviously, Real Madrid. Declan, man. Goal scorer now as well, Bellingham. It's a hard one. That. Different players again. Declan's mm. been unbelievable. I mean... To go to a club for 100 million pounds and no one talk about the price price tag mm. means you're flying. Mm. But what Jude Bellingham is doing it's at unreal, Real Madrid is unheard of. 20 years old. Isn't 20 it? years old, gone in and just said, "Give me the number five shirt, the most iconic shirt at the club." Which Zidane used to wear at Sanchez mm. before that. And I'm going to be your number nine for a little while if you want. Mm. Don't even play his position. It's still mean, top goal scorer. Yeah, it's only Benzema now, doesn't top it? Top goal scorer. It's just real. fantastic. Odegaard and Kevin De Bruyne. Obviously, people now saying the debate is closing in a little bit. Odegaard is becoming... Not yet. Not yet. De Bruyne, has, De Bruyne has, what he's done in the Premier League has been nothing short of like crazy. Yeah. Like Premier League history, mm. one of the best midfielders. Mm. Um, but I think Odegaard... He's got the ability to get there. Mm. I, I, when he got the armband, I was like, wow, it's a huge responsibility on one so young. Mm. As a player, I backed him mm. fully. Great talent. And I wasn't sure if he would be able to get... Can, I, was, I, I didn't question him. I was like, we'll see now if he can handle the, the yeah. armband. Took it on. Where's it with pride? Where's it well? And Alisson and Edison, the big debate in the Premier League. Edison. Straight away, Edison. Yeah. Really? Because oh. he's just so great with his feet, so calm. And he makes big saves as well. Alisson Allis, makes huge saves, don't yeah. get me wrong. But you look in the Champions League final, Edison made some big saves in that final. And Van Dijk and Ruben Diaz, obviously, defenders, your mm. realm. What do you reckon? Right now, I'd probably go Diaz, but I think for the last four or five years, Van Dijk's been standout. And do you not really listen to this sort of hate where people are saying, like, Van Dijk's falling off? Would you not really? No, like I think form is form. I think yeah. if, if you lost form, you lost form. But it doesn't, it doesn't, doesn't mean that he's... He's still not a, a, a fantastic player. I think Van Dijk, he's been he's been brilliant, but right now Ruben Diaz has been top. Penultimate one, Mount and Madison, obviously two Ooh. creators, English. Get compared. That that, that that score would have been reversed if it was two years ago. Do you reckon? Yeah. He'd be the 84 and he'd yeah. be the 81. Yeah. Um, right now, again on form, we've got to go Madison. Mm. He's gone into to Spurs and they look a really good team. He's he's at everything that the positive that they're doing. He's at the heartbeat of it. So mm. I'll go Madison. Finally. Martinez and Saliba. I'll go Saliba. Yeah, I think Saliba's, Saliba's potentially could be like top, top, top. Yeah. I think Martinez answered a lot of critics last year, a lot of mm. doubters about his, his size and stuff like that. Fantastic on the ball. But like this one, I think also you, you're helped by the team you're playing as well. Mm -hmm. He's in a very solid, consistent team, Saliba. Mm. Martinez isn't.